Hello, everybody. Welcome back, Mr. Gorell. We finally got off that planet. We're here on the Ebon Hawk. I thought I'd give you a little tour. Um, so let's just do that real quick. This is the supply room. Uh, if you make a left, I have no. I, I, this is the first time I've seen it. It's been a very long time since I played this game. Uh, this looks like some sort of maybe quarters here. Beds. Nice. Uh, let's see. Here is what, like a tactical room, hangout room. That's where everybody is. You got the T3M4. You got Zalabar. And then probably like a galaxy map, I would imagine. In this hallway, oops, we have, uh, I'm not sure, navigation perhaps. This hallway, obviously, oh, I've started something. So here is the place where you obviously fly it. It's actually pretty cool. I'm getting my first look at it here. You know, I probably didn't give this a second look when I was a kid and played this. This is pretty cool, actually. All right. Let's see, where else can we go? Let's go behind him. Not sure what this is. It's another little room, cargo room, maybe. Um, that's how you leave. This is where we keep our swoop bike, apparently. And there's the workbench. Grade your stuff. This is an engine room, I think. That's what it looks like. The back to supplies. Um, yeah. Go up there probably to fire the guns. If you were. Oh, look, here's medical bay, I bet. This is a nice ship, holy cow. Let's see, where am I? Oh, another set of quarters. There's where missions hanging out. All right, so there's the ship. Let's get going. Oh, look at this. So cool. Oh. There's Jedi everywhere? Is that what it is? It is way bigger on the inside of that. It's like Harry Potter stuff right there. You go inside that thing, it's like 10 times bigger. Who are you? Greetings. Sentient, may I take a moment of your time for a question? Go ahead. I was in a human citizen of Nantuin by the name of Rindel His match has considerably difficulty with Mandalorian Raiders for many years. Oh, I happen to have a Mandalorian with me. You're in luck, sir. His daughter was kidnapped by those Raiders many years ago and has not returned. May I have some news? Might you have some news of her? Her name was Sasha. Oh, that's too bad. I'll have to continue my search. I understand there are, though I know little of the history behind this conflict. Okay, so he's just here visiting. Alright. So let's, um... Uh. Greetings, my young friend. I assume you are not a member of the Order, because you're not wearing traditional garb of the Jedi. Let me introduce myself. I am Grannis, proprietor of this general store. Not much to look at, though. I admit, I'm in on the ground floor. I mean, look at this planet. Desert field, rolling plains. Oh, okay. So we got some stuff here. Got some stuff. Yeah, I need to make some money, man. I definitely need to make some money. All right, let's keep going here. I guess let's go see what's on the other side of the door. Other side. Nothing. Trees are hilarious looking. They're giant trunks with little bitty branches. Oh, 
Welcome to the Jada Enclave. I do not believe we know each other. My name is Girl Jada. Call me Dish. And there already news of apprentices being accepted for training recently. What brings you to this place? My business here is my own. I wish to make you uncomfortable. I suppose I should just wish you a good day then. Achuta. I don't know, maybe I should have been nice to him. <laughs> okay, there she is. You oh, there, Padawan. Oh, Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young, though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. No, I suppose you did not. I apologize. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see oh, I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dan. Allow them to wash the over you. Be with you. There are many things to be found. I hear that the Sith have defeated another Republic battle fleet. It's all right. Why are you bothering me? I'm here to speak with the Council, not some servant. Please leave, or I shall be forced to tell the Council of your rude behavior. I do not care of this Council you speak of. I am not a member of the Jedi Order. That's all right. I don't have time for your nonsense. See? All right. Oh, there's Garth. Oh, good Lord. What does this Jibber Jabber got to say? They're waiting for you inside. Oh, that's it? You didn't have to... You didn't want an hour-long speech? Nice. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. I am. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Jar, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. This is no trap. The Council just wants to talk to you. There is much that needs to be discussed. Yes, the High Council of the Jedi Order is on Coruscant. But we are the Council in charge of the training facility here on Dantooine. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this man. And I've already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. It could have been. Both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we not ignore me? It? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions them. in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. 
with Revan dead. Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the council alone. Oh, your little secrets, Jedi. They're going to come back to haunt you. I think I can predict the future. I see your lies get you in trouble. It is a downfall of your order. <laughs> Ooh, where are we? The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? Apparently, yes. Yes, it is. Star Forge, you see. This morning's getting stranger by the minute. First, Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. No, she didn't. She didn't seem well, as I recall. And for that matter, neither do you. Are you all right? Oh, my God. <laughs> you got it. This guy. Ah, <laughs> oh, this guy. Yes. All right, let's get going. So I put them. I gave her a blaster. She has her own vibra blade, but she didn't seem very good with it when we were using it. Um, and then I gave him his old boss's armor. One, he looks amazing. Look how good he is. And then two, I have this upgradable armor. So I just went with this. Let's get going. Now, let's go talk to the Jedis. Lie to them some more. Pretend. It's disgusting. It's Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. Why don't you guys ever look into this stuff? She says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong in the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you as it acts through Bastila. You actually know what you speak of, man. You and Bastila share a powerful I keep lying to these Jedi. force and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you but the way of the dark is power. Good. 
It is well that you see how important this is, and have the devotion to follow it. Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their Dark Lord. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be it's so quickly. easily manipulated. The these will Jedi. Enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Once the Council deems you ready, perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. Hmm. Yes. Your devotion is most commendable. <laughs> Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself, within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail. We must begin your training at once. <laughs> you have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel Ooh, the power of the nice. Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi. You must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. It okay? The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited, and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you. Wow, that was really fast. You guys must be desperate. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first you must prove yourself worthy. Oh, I will. In the traditions and customs of our Order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Ooh, look at all them dark side points gained. All right. Uh, I don't know. I'm pretty Star Wars nerd. Maybe I can figure this out. Greetings, my young pupil. Your prog. I am ready to continue my training. Your apprenticeship will in the tradition. Alright, I'm ready for the tests. These tests will okay, first. You must now prove you have a there is no emotion. Um there is no emotion. There is no ignorance. Ignorance would be there is knowledge. There is no passion. There is no chaos.
There is no death. You have learned your studies well, apprentice. Uh -huh. It will not be long before you are a full member of our Foolish Jedi but first, easily manipulated. You must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi, the very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct his lightsaber Sweet. with his own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Ah, you have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time you has do? come for you to choose the color of your Red. lightsaber. Red, I mean, this sorry. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. I think it gotta be Guardian, right? Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Yeah. Hmm. Indeed. Very well. <laughs> On to the next question. <laughs> I don't know if I should answer these completely. The dark Jedi allied mm. with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Say, brother, you no need fight. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. What do you do? Uh, we gonna smash In that door down. I see a pattern here, apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Organize them. Yes, I thought as much. <clears throat> as I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Guardian. You're dang right. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? Here is a blue crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Shark. And then <laughs> so I could have just picked at any point what I wanted. It. Nice. Okay. Ah, good. Now that ah, you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Very nice. So I was right. Okay. Hold on to the work. I don't get to say so. I want to see what it looks like, please. Our crystal. Well, I didn't even get to say so what it looks like. Oh, right. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Oh, really? It is a rumor only. I do not know if there's any truth in it. But you must learn first to use your lightsaber and take care when drawing it. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect. And the attentions of dangerous enemies. 
the Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? I think so. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You must see the corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway, twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cath Hounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. The Cath Hounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. Then I shall do it. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. Mm. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, apprentice. May the force be with you. All right. 